Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking in HD. I'm Bart and today is the day before Thanksgiving here in Canada. Our Thanksgiving comes a little bit earlier than the American Thanksgiving. So I'm doing a little bit of prep work for tomorrow's big dinner. And the first course I'm going to be serving is a cream of wild mushroom soup. But this one has a little bit of um, a twist on it. I've actually added uh, a lot of stout beer to the cream of mushroom soup. So this is a stout cream of mushroom soup. And it's just given it a, a really nice, interesting and more complex flavor than just regular mushroom soup. So have a look at it. This is the final product right here. And this will be the first course of our, uh, of our dinner. And I've got uh, a little bit of um, Guinness cheddar cheese as garnish, uh, as well as uh, parsley. So stick around for another episode of Cooking in HD, and I'll show you how to make this lovely starter to a Thanksgiving dinner. Right, well let's go over our ingredients. Uh, we've got a couple sprigs of thyme here, some rosemary, but four large shallots, some bay leaves, for our mushrooms, I'm using shiitake mushrooms. These are really nice. You just gotta make sure you remove the stem. The stem is very fibrous. Uh, I've got oyster mushrooms, which are beautiful. You just use the whole thing. And I've got some uh, baby bellas. These are, these are nice. Um, and I've got probably about three quarters of a pound here. The proportions are approximate. I mean, just, you know, kind of eyeball it based on the quantity of soup you wanna make. I've got some uh, some butter as well, which I'm going to use to saute the shallots. I've got some chicken stock. I'm using uh, here. This is a um, an oatmeal stout from a company called McCausland. They make a a really nice beer. Um, probably the most famous stout being uh, Guinness. If if you want to use Guinness, you can do that. If you don't want to use beer, you can just use more chicken broth. Uh, I'm going to use some Worcestershire sauce, some table cream some sour cream, a little bit of cornstarch to thicken it up, and then some Guinness cheese for um, a little bit of uh, garnish and extra flavor. All right, let's take some of our uh, finely uh, minced shallots, rosemary, and thyme, and we're gonna put it into a really big sauce pot like this one over medium heat and with some uh, butter in it. We're just gonna saute that up. Now the, uh, the shallots have been sauteing for about 10 minutes and to that I'm going to add a bay leaf which is already in there and about one half of my mushrooms or in my case I'm adding the, um, the baby bellas. This is really important. I'm adding the, the less expensive mushrooms. These kind of have more of a generic flavor. So I'm going to um, saute these up for about 10 minutes. This is going to be our puree. So I'm making another batch of mushrooms, which are gonna be my shiitake and oyster mushrooms. And I'm not going to puree that. I actually want that to stand out in, in this um, uh, soup. So these ones here will get sauteed separately because I will combine these mushrooms um, with my other mushrooms after I have pureed these. Now in a separate frying pan, I'm gonna saute my shiitake mushrooms and my oyster mushrooms. And again, I'm doing this to keep them separate because I'm not going to puree these. Okay, so these mushrooms have rendered down nicely for about 10 minutes. And now I'm going to add some chicken stock and my stout. And I'll give you the proportions in a minute. I, I have to kind of eyeball it and we'll see. All right, so I've added four cups of chicken stock and one bottle of stout beer to this uh, cream of mushroom uh, mixture. And now I'm just gonna bring this up to a boil to, to boil all of the alcohol out of the beer. All right, now that this has been boiling for a couple of minutes, I'm gonna turn the heat down and I'm gonna add uh, my sour cream and table cream. But first I'm just gonna let it kind of simmer down a bit. Okay, so I've actually added a total of one cup of cream. Let's give this a nice mix. And then I'll just add a little bit of sour cream for extra flavor. Now we puree. All right, now I've got this the consistency that I wanted. And um, now we'll just uh, thicken it with a little bit of cornstarch and season it a bit. All right, in goes the cornstarch and we'll just bring this up to heat again. 
Okay, now I've added <clears throat> salt, pepper, and I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and I'll give that a mix. Let me show you what this looks like. I've added a little bit of a cornstarch, about one teaspoon, and it's nice and thick. Okay, we've got good thickness here. Uh, I've also added just a splash of red wine vinegar to give it just a little bit of zing. Um, not zing tang, just, it's just uh, to brighten it up a little bit. So this is done. It's got the right seasoning, right amount of salt and pepper. And um, I'll plate this for you and show you what the final product looks like. All right, let's try it. So I've got um, a little bit of uh, Guinness cheddar on here and a nice big uh, piece of wild mushroom. Mmm. Wow. I'm just creamy. There's a little bit of tang in it from the cheddar and from the red wine vinegar that I've added. And it's just so luxurious. I mean, it's a nice, thick, hearty soup, a perfect complement to mine and maybe your Thanksgiving dinner. Thanks for joining me for Cooking in HD. Hope to see you guys soon. Cheers.